Welcome to the English Road Trip Series. The wide open motorways, the crazy narrow alleyways. This country is just so interesting, we love it. Today we check out Bath. I'm a shower man myself, but today I shall put aside my preferences. Bath it is. So a long time ago, the Romans built a public bath in these parts, taking advantage of the local hot water spring. Before then, people just used to smell a lot. Nowadays, the water is green, so I don't know if you would be any cleaner after getting out of the bath than when you first got in. If you are into history, you could spend a whole morning here, and if you are not into history, you will hate it. That is Julius Caesar. Well, statue of him. Julius Caesar. He's the one in the middle. And that is Emperor Claudius. Although I think he might need some plastic surgery. So this shows us where the Romans would have parked their cars. Just there. Walked across from the car park across here, dived into the water down below. It's quite clever. I didn't realise, but the Romans built it completely out of perspex. There are interactive displays and all sorts of interesting things to read. I thoroughly recommend visiting the Roman Bath Complex. Also must visit bath locations are the Circus, which is a circular bunch of Georgian houses, not a clown juggling chainsaws. Uh, and by the way, Circus means a circle in Latin. Uh, and also check out the Crescent, which is a road in the shape of a half moon bordered by Georgian houses. George was very busy back in the day. The ultimate in council estates. The River Avon is a rather famous river that flows through Bath and the Pulteney Bridge was built in the 1700s to cross it. It has shops lining the side of the bridge and is a World Heritage Site. Fun fact, Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein in Bath in the early 1800s.
and I rather enjoyed this guy. Please like and subscribe.